I went to school just to please my dad Develop some anger is after math I fell off the course while you wait for a Porsche I'm coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always Hey guys, it's your boy Atlantic, you know, we just chilling with our Lamborghini GTR Delta 8 Omega 69 420 Blaze it and uh, if you want to see gains like this, you know, you just got to kind of follow everything that I do because as you can see, my success is so fantastic because I'm just great and everything about me is so amazing. Like, look at the way I talk and oh my God and stuff. So like follow my NFT guides and you'll be getting Lamborghini GTXRs, Omega Delta 8s, 420 Blazets just like this right here. All right, guys, so all seriousness, jokes aside, all that stuff, I found this new project. They actually hit me up. It's called Secret Jackpot Society, and they're going to have these six types of cards, and each card, depending on the rarity, is going to give you a discount on their whitelist for like a PFP collection. On top of that, they're going to use some of the proceeds from the mint to buy floor prices, or floors rather, of uh, some really popular projects and donate those to members, and they're also going to be helping people who were rug pulled. On top of that, there's also going to be these games in their Discord where you can win real Ada prizes. So I'm going to link their Discord below. They've only been out for about a week now, so you're going to be getting in pretty early. Alright guys, I'm going to make this quick and painless. I know everybody hates a little bit of shilling, and I do too, so let's get it over with. My Twitter, right here. I'm going to link this in the description below. If you would like to enter, there's a chance to win two Atlantic Ocean NFTs. Remember, my mint date is going to be on the 9th at 8 p.m. UTC. Only 25 ADA, only 300 drop. Winners will be picked in 48 hours because I created this yesterday. And we're going to be going live just like we always do on my YouTube channel to pick them. So good luck, everybody. All right, guys. So I just want to show a little bit of Jackpot Society because I think they look really cool. So this is an example of one of their casino jackpot cards that you're going to be able to get. And I think this is a legendary version. Access to all future legendary games and future mints can be bought for 15 ADA is what it says on the card. So this is going to allow you to get one of their profile pictures when they launch those later on for only 15 ADA. So if you want to be a part of this, go check it out. I'm going to have the Discord link in the description below. Alright guys, the other project I wanted to cover is called Retroheads. There's going to be 10,000 of these, they're going to be 50 ADA a piece, and they're building their own analytics platform. So basically the only way to get access to this platform is to own their NFT. If you own your NFT, then they're going to have an access to get in, similar to probably like a NAMI authorization, you'll just type in your password, it'll search for a policy ID, and it'll let you through. And once you're in, you can get benefits to everything that they have planned. They don't have anything developed yet. I think they're going to be using the money to develop this after their uh, mint. So we're going to have to see exactly what it looks like. But they have some really ambitious plans. And I'm going to jump right into their Discord and show you some of their plans right now. Okay, so over on Retrohead's Discord, you can see that the mint cost is 50 ADA, 10k supply, and the drop is going to be on March 19th. I don't know why it says doodle 9.18k because when I joined there was about 11,000 people roughly in here so maybe this isn't updating or something I'm not sure but the sneak peeks look pretty cool these are definitely styled off of some old like 80s maybe 70s cartoons and uh, they're also going to be updating themselves in the future and if you go over here on their white paper you can see they have a time travel capsules drop which is going to be for season two. And if you get one of these, there's a 50% chance that you'll travel back in time and yours will be pixelated or you travel in the future and yours will be somehow futuristic. So over on the white paper, they have an interesting way that they're doing their royalties. It says 20% of all royalties from all different marketplaces will go to a specific set of holders. So not all holders, but a specific set. And those holders are gonna be people who hold all the different heads. And it says no color variation. Now, I don't know if this means that there's not gonna be a color variation in their NFT heads in general, or if it means that if you own color variations, it doesn't matter, or if they have to all be the same color. Uh, this kind of confuses me a little bit. I'm not sure, maybe I'm overthinking it. But um, also, it says we made it very hard to be a special holder because we want these holders to remain exclusive so they can benefit from the project's royalties. And what that basically means, because I've spoken to a few projects about this, is it's hard to add value to all holders. If you have a 10k collection and you want to split that evenly, everybody is getting a lot of the times, if it's successful, like 7 ADA every few months. And that's just not going to help anybody. 
So trying to limit it to just 20% could give you maybe like 50 ADA a month. And it's still not that great, but scale this out in a long-term perspective when ADA is maybe $6 way in the future, maybe like two years from now, who knows, you know, then you're looking at something. So anyways, we can go down and they're also giving out royalties for giveaways. We will open a poll each month as to what NFT should be in the giveaway. 5% of the royalties will be available for these aspects. The season one royalties going for season two. 25% of the royalties will be allocated for development of season two, which will include paying our artists and the fusion of the retro head Genesis and the tra uh, time travel capsules. And then it talks about royalties for the data analytics platform. The platform will be in constant maintenance. Therefore, the 25% of all the royalties forever will be reserved to go back into their data analytics platform. And I actually think this is really fair. When I first read this, I was like, I don't know about that. But then I thought about it. And if you want a really good analytics platform, you're gonna need to constantly be in development. You're gonna need updates, you're gonna need new innovative ideas, and you're gonna need to be paying people to do this. So I think this is more than fair. Royalties for owner, uh, owners and artists, 25% as well. So, okay, so moving down to the time travel capsules again, I just wanted to make note that you are gonna have to mint these and you don't have to use them. So they also say that perhaps holding your time capsule and not using it for the mutation may release other uses down the line, but who knows? So they're not promising anything, but maybe. And when you go down to here and look at that, the royalties for season two, 100% of the royalties for season two are gonna be used for maintenance and improvement on the platform, which sounds like a lot because it's all of it, but it's not that much. First off, they have 5% royalties implemented all on season one and on two. So you have to also understand that the season two are deflationary. If you use the time travel capsule, then it's gonna be burnt with your NFT, creating one more NFT. So you're not going to be getting that many royalties if let's say 50% of the supply is burnt to you know create these other NFTs. So the rest of their white paper talks about their analytics tool, why they need it, and what um, tools are actually going to be provided with it. So obviously you know why you need it. It's nice to look at, it helps you make your trading decisions, and it gives a little bit more transparency in our space. So it's pretty important. Um, some of the things that it's going to be able to do is the first is going to be a wallet profile system, which is really cool because it's going to tell you a bunch of things about your own wallet. So you're going to connect your wallet and then you'll be able to provide all the NFTs that you have ever held and their respective floor at the time they sold and its current price, the maximum ADA collected, monitor the wallet's activity, wallet relationships, which will show other wallets that you interacted with the most, etc. That's a lot. That's really cool. The next one is a floor price project tracker, which analyzes if the project's floor is thick or thin. So basically, if there's a wall of 200, then it'll tell you that. A rarity sniping tool, which will be presented in a scatter plot. The scatter plot's X axis will represent rarity and the Y axis will represent price. So you're going to be able to find out if you can maybe snipe some NFTs that are undervalued. A volume bot, which will tell you a notification every hour about what are the projects with the most assets sold. A Twitter engagement tracker, obviously. General project analytics, which will show a project uh, when it was first minted, when it was last minted, how many NFTs are in circulation, floor prices across the day, a bunch of stuff. Marketplace analytics, at the moment we only have in mind JPEG store and CNFT.io, but this list will only grow from here. Obviously we're going to continue to have a bunch more, so that makes sense. And uh, a project is showing more demand or what time of day there is more demand, an average floor price across markets, highest sale, lowest sale, stuff like that. So a lot of this is pretty important. Uh, as far as like trading, you can kind of think of this as uh, like a trading platform for stocks, but it's going to be very specific and specialized to NFTs. They already have something like this on Ethereum. So I think it's pretty important that we start to get a lot of the things on Ethereum over to Cardano. All right, guys, last thing I just wanted to note before I sign out is their team isn't doxed, but I'm not too worried about it. I do wish people would dox a little bit more, but I do understand that people do like to hide behind the computer just in case something goes wrong. They don't want their families to be threatened, stuff like that. I get it. It's the unfortunate world that we live in. So anyways, guys, if any of this content helped you, please give me a like and subscribe. Remember to get outside, see your family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so we can spend more time with them. Until next time, guys. Peace. Like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I
keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.